Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. It is Colleen here and today we are going to make a new fall recipe. It is spiced cranberry icebox cake and we are going to use the new Brilliance Long Loaf Pans, which I love for uh, lasagna and meatloaf. And in my deluxe stand mixer, I have just a um, regular old pound cake mix, plus the eggs, the water that it called for. Um, it also calls for butter, but I wanted to show you something. Softened butter, you know it's good when you can put your finger in it and it makes an indentation, but it's still holding its shape, so it's not getting all squishy and melty on you. So I'm gonna pop that in and then the difference here is we are going to use calls for pumpkin pie spice. I don't need that because I have the Cinnamon Plus, which is a perfect substitute for pumpkin pie spice. And it is available now during the holidays. So I'm gonna use one. And remember we have adjustable measuring spoons, so we only have to dirty, oh, we only have to dirty one spoon. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, there we go. And then I am going to mix this. And then we're going to pop it in the pan, pop it in the oven to bake. And we'll be back with the rest. Our mix is almost done. I love that this just tells me when it's done. I actually cleaned some things up while it was mixing. And I actually, I got to tell you, this box had some very complicated mixing instructions. Um, it, it was like beat on low speed for 30, then beat on something for like 20 more minutes. And all I did was I used our presets on the deluxe stand mixer and it's perfect. So... Let me just move this out of the way. Wait, let's shake off all the batter, the good stuff. Okay, so I am going to, I'm gonna put this right in the long loaf pan. We're gonna do it sideways. You can see why the opening is a little bit easier to do this way. And this is gonna go in the oven for well, the instructions say on the box about, depending on your pan, size of your pan, it's probably gonna take about 40 or 50 minutes. So I'm going to bake it and then it will need to cool. And then we are going to make this. Do you see it's a layer cake? I'm a little nervous. It involves like trimming the cake. So um, we will do that after this is baked and cooled. The pound cake is done baking. Remember, you want to check it, so we want to make sure our cake tester comes out clear, and it does. Okay, so I have taken my tool, I've loosened around the edges. This is the other side of the cake tester and releaser, and now this is still warm. It's cooled for 10 minutes, and it's warm to the touch, but look at how beautifully that cleaned out. So now we're going to let it cool completely before we assemble the rest of our cake. So our cake is completely cool and we are going to, this is the part that made me nervous, was the layers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to trim off the top, kind of like a, a crumb coating. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. We want to try to make it flat and I don't know if this is going to, oh, how this is going to work. Um, the amazing thing is this cake is already delicious. Now. You can save this to make a crispy crumb crop topping, say that three times fast, which is part of the recipe. I do not have time to do that. So we're just gonna snack on this um, plain. And my, my cut is not even, so I'll just do a little bit more. And then overall, we want three even layers. I don't know if I'm gonna get three layers out of this. I don't know. All right, let's try it. Maybe this will be my top layer. Maybe we'll do it that way. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm a little nervous. I'm just gonna cut it from the middle and just gonna hold the top. I'm using a bread knife and I'm gonna hope that this all goes to plan. Keep an eye on where you are. <laughs> and then Oh, I'm so nervous. Ooh, I did it. Okay, 
So now, I'm going to keep this for the top layer, I think, now, because I'm not sure I'm going to have enough. So what we're going to do is, I broke it, <clears throat> line the loaf pan with plastic wrap. This because this is an ice box cake, so this is actually going to go in the freezer overnight, and this is going to allow us to lift it. So now I'm super nervous about my bottom layer, which broke in half. Okay, anybody can do this. We're just going to put it in. We're going to let the whipped topping and the freezer part do its job. We're just going to patch it up with some crumbs. It's going to be fine. Just like that. You can see where I broke it. Okay, so then we need to make our whipped topping. Okay, so the key to a good whipped cream is a very cold bowl. May I recommend an oven mitt? Um, I put this one in my chest freezer downstairs. It is very cold to the touch, which is why I use the oven mitt. I learned that one the hard way. And then we are going to add a cup and a quarter of heavy whipping cream. I never said this was low cal. Okay. And then we're to that, we're going to add, actually, let's get this going first. We need two tablespoons of powdered sugar. Now, this is powdered sugar that I made in my blender. Yes, so if you follow me, and it's caked a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I make this in my blender. Actually, this is a teaspoon, so we're going to need, whoops. Did you know that three teaspoons makes a tablespoon? Um, I like to make this because I don't always need to have a whole bag hanging around. <laughs> Three teaspoons makes a tablespoon. Okay, so this is gonna whip in the deluxe stand mixer. Let me show you. Don't you love when I do this stuff, make goofs? Okay, so we've turned it on. We are gonna go with whip. And we've already got it preset and it tells us what to use, which is the whipper. So I'm gonna let this roll. And I'll show you what comes next. Look at those peaks. That was speed eight for those of you who have not seen the deluxe stand mixer. So we have our whipped cream and there's a couple things we need to do. This is a cranberry spiced ice box cake, so we do need some whole berry cranberry sauce with the can opener, which we love. We don't cut our fingers with this. So what we're going to do is we are going to take a quarter cup of this and I am going to whip it, I don't know, look at that, about a quarter cup. We're going to plop this right in here, you know, just like that. And then I'm just going to give it a little zhuzh. Cake. I'm going to give it a little zhuzh. Okay, so anybody can do this job. I realized what I should have done first, but I did make adjustments. Um, this bowl is not big enough. We're supposed to mix our cranberry first and then put a quarter cup of our cranberry mixture in the whipped cream, but I made adjustments. So, uh, we, I have zested an orange. This is the new grater cup of cheese and zester, I should say, and super cool because you can do bigger things on it, safer for your hands, and then it has this little windshield washer motion. That cleans, see how, it, I don't know if you can see, how it collects everything, so you don't lose it. Um, and what I really like about this is there's a, they're measuring markers on the back. So you can measure what you have. And then if you've got just a little piece of cheese or garlic or ginger or something, ginger is a big one, it comes with a little food holder so you can safely do that. So I had already zested this orange and now I'm just going to mix it into this cranberry sauce and I'll tell you why in a minute. Well this is gelled cranberry sauce. Um, it did say whole berry gelled so we're going to chop this up 
And then we're gonna put our cake together. So this is just orange zest and some cranberry sauce. Whole berry, whole berry. Actually, I think this is jelly, but that's okay. It's gonna be fine. So here we go. This whipped cream, amazing. I just tried it. So I've got my <clears throat> broken loaf in there. We are going to take the cranberry sauce or the whipped topping first. Let's just double check before we assemble. Okay, I'm gonna double check the recipe. Um, okay, cranberry sauce first. So we're gonna take some of this cranberry sauce and we're gonna layer it. And I'll show you, and this is, this is gelled. It should have been whole berry, so it's not gonna spread as nicely, but I think it's gonna taste fine, broken, you know, and uh, I should have been recording earlier because I said this is this cake's going to be a little thick in the middle because the way I, I um, the way I cut it, and someone else said, just like us. So you know it's a little imperfect, it's a little sloppy, but it's going to taste good. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so there's one layer. We're going to spread that a little bit thinner, huh? Someone else? That was, me. that was you. I know it was you. Okay. Here we go. Here's the really thick in the middle layer. We're going to put that right on top. Oh, my word. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why sometimes Anna, Anna asked me to try to make this, and this is the whole reason I'm trying this cake. So, Anna, I hope you appreciate it. I know you do. So I'm going to use the rest of this in here. This is going to be good though, because this is going to soak into the pound cake, which has already got like a, a, it, on its own. It was delicious. I, I took a little taste. So now it's like a thick and thick. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I was trying to keep my spatula clean, but all right. We're going to spread some more in here. I know. We'll go. And then I'll put the top on. I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the top on. I'm trying to squish it down because I still have to cover the darn thing. So I'm going to put the rest of the whipped cream on top. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to throw some on the counter while I'm at it. The flavors are there. The presentation. I am not going to win any uh, great bake-off. British British baking. I might win. Nailed it. Um, this is why I am a drop and bake. I I am not a cake baker. I am not a decorator. I really like to make drop and bake cookies. I don't like to decorate. I, I shouldn't say I don't like to decorate cookies. I'm just not great at it. Um, okay. So there's that, and it's a little bit higher than it should be. I don't know. We're gonna see how this turns out. Okay, that's it. I think I'm going to, I don't know, I'm worried. This, I'm a little worried. But the top on this is slightly raised. So this is the great thing about the Brilliance um, Bakeware is are the lids, because you can, I can feel it squishing already. You can, put these on backwards so here's a tip you want the side that says pampered chef to be on facing you okay we learned it here together and then it will snap shut like it's supposed to there we go so it's still this cake is still popping up on me but I think we're gonna be okay I'm going to put, uh, I've got some uh, leftovers in the freezer. I'll just put it on top just to make absolutely sure that this is um, all set. It's going to go in the freezer seven hours or overnight. We're going for overnight and then we'll, we'll see what happens. Like I said, I think the flavors are here. If you are a seasoned cake maker, this would probably be a snap for you. Um, I'm loving the fall flavors with the cranberry and the orange and the um, cinnamon. So we'll see what goes. We're back. Our cake has been in the freezer overnight. And just a reminder, if you're taking cold metal out of your freezer, use gloves because this is cold. So see how it went, you guys. 
All right, so a little bit of the top came off, but not bad. I'm gonna use my microwave grips because this is freezing. Our top, meh, it's not the prettiest, but that's okay. Um, again, you can take, there's, in the recipe, it talks about um, taking, if you, if you didn't mess up like I did, if you were able to get a little thin layer off the top of the cake and, and cut it properly, you have leftover cake, and you can toast that on the stove with some butter and make it crunchy, and then sprinkle that on top. You could also sprinkle some extra seasoning. I didn't do that this time, I just wanted to try it. But here's our plastic wrap so we can pull it out. So let's see how this goes. Let's see. Oh, it's really frozen. It is really frozen in there. There we go. Whew. Oh, that's cool. All right. So that's it. It's our cake. It should have three layers. It has like two, but that's all right. I'm gonna give it a little cut so you can see the inside. And it is frozen, so just work it through. Oh, that's kind of pretty on the inside. I missed a little piece on the bottom, that's okay. So let's, I don't like the end, so I'm gonna cut another piece. Um, and I will tell you that just adding some Cinnamon Plus to the pound cake mix, amazing so if you just get a regular old pound cake mix from the store and then doctor it with your cinnamon or pumpkin spice seasoning that is a pretty slice I need a towel um, that alone is a, a great thing to do and it'll wow your guests too if you just even if you don't want to do all of this with the whipped cream topping okay so let's give it a little taste Sorry, I'm gonna, I'll take a little bite so it won't, I won't have to talk with my mouth full. All right. Oh, wow. That's worth it. So yummy. It's, you've got the, the, the orange is really flavorful. You've got a little tart from the cranberry. You've got the whipped cream. You've got the cinnamon and the pound cake. Amazing. Visually, again, I'm not a cake person, not a showstopper, but the flavor is there. Um, some other change-ups you can do is you can use raspberry jam if you don't want to do what I did with the cranberry sauce. You can do some raspberry jam. You can use lemon zest. Um, you could do blueberry and lemon zest. Maybe like the pound cake without the cinnamon in it. Just make some pound cake, slice it up, and then do the whipped topping with some lemon zest and raspberry. Uh, le excuse me. Yeah, lemon zest and raspberry, and that would be delightful. So there you have it. Anna asked for it, you got it. That is spiced cranberry icebox cake. Thanks you guys for watching. You're always welcome in this kitchen. Take care.